I didn't touch you, I man. Just prayed not that long ago, and I can't stand another man touching me. Well, no one did that. Is this a prank? Yeah, he won't go away. He You're needs to go away. He's a fucking problem. I need to leave. No, no, no. We'll take I still got. I still got. Okay. She threw some of my stuff. Okay. I hell if I know. I'm so sorry. She wasn't sorry when she cut in line. Fuck and then you. I didn't see you. To make it. Oh, I just asked her if she saw just anyone leave. in line. Just fucking leave. Just go. That's leave. an adult. You're making it worse. Let's just walk up. I'm just talking. Walk up to Chris. Walk with Chris. Walk with Chris. Yo, what it do, what it is, it's KC the Red Pill Alpha here back at your films again. Y'all already know what it is. You know, I'm going to keep the intro very short. I'm going to go ahead and get on the road, get on this highway. Get over here to this uh, roofing place. I got to grab a couple packs of shingles for the back part of my uh, roof and shit. Take them old ones off. Put them up. But y'all already know what it is. Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything in the back of their neck. Hold them down, lock them down, submerge them down with that game. Please like, share, subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's very important. My video for education purposes only fair use only. Uh, you already know how to get at me in the description under the video. Gmail, the num phone number, everything's there. Uh, Go join my Patreon, KC okay, the Red Pill Alpha. Get on that $5 tier. Get some of that raw and uncut material you cannot get on YouTube with my commentary. That you know I'm, you already know I'm going hard. You already know. But um, let's get straight to it. Now, this is your, your, your feminist, your, I mean, your liberal slash feminist behavior. Feminist slash liberal behavior. However you want to put it in that order, it's, it's up to, totally up to you. But this is the kind of behavior that we're dealing with, with these women, fellas. It's called position of power. When you got a woman, and, and not the, the woman that's in the grocery store, she's not in position of power because she's shopping just like every other customer in there. But I, I wouldn't be surprised she's a part of HR at, at you guys' job, or um, she's probably a patrol, patrol woman or... You know, she's got some kind of, you know, probably work at the DMV, the security or the head person at the DMV when you go and um, do your driving, uh, renew your license and things of that nature. Women like that, you know, um, and, not, and really a lot of these companies, hospitals, um, hell, it could be a quick trip. We had quick trip, right? It could be here. Now, this is not all women. We know that. We know that this is not all women, right? Of course not. Every woman doesn't abuse their power or, or put themselves in a situation to where it's like um, they're competing or combating with the man. And every woman's not like that. No, not at all. Because I definitely don't deal with women like that. I've never dealt with women like this. You know, unless it was like a little later along, um, little, a little later in our, you know, in, within our dealings, she probably came off feminist or, you know, she probably came off, I don't know, psychotic or whatever. I don't know, you know, but in a relationship or just dealing with that person? No, I never had that. Now, Obama. Threw the rainbow across that White House. You guys remember that? It was 2008, 2009, something like that. Threw the rainbow across the White House. Basically letting you know in so many words, um, we're all equal. Everyone's equal. You know, everyone got their rights. Everyone can be spoken on and everyone can can have their word to be spoken. You know, every, you know, you can be basically outspoken. So many words. I'm trying to focus on this highway and talk at the same time, so I may be fumbling on my words, forgive me. It be like that. You know, motherfuckers don't want to get no wreck. You dig? But um everyone is outspoken on what they like, what they don't like, what they want to be a part of, what they don't want to be a part of, um, who they want to sleep with, you know, who they don't, who they don't care about, who they hate, who they don't hate, yeah. It's, 
you know that we come from the era of the 90s fellas a lot of us come from the 90s a lot of us come from the 80s and shit like that to where motherfuckers stood in their place they knew who they were you know they knew their place in today's time people are all over the motherfucking place they don't know where they they don't know where they stand they don't know who they are you know they they want to you know they they want to you know a man want to love a man and the next day want to love a frog and, the woman want to love a woman. The next day, she she rather lay down and sleep with a raccoon. I mean, you don't know what motherfuckers is up to. And this kind of behavior is here. And it's here to stay for a long time. You know, go Trump. You know, I'm just going to say it like that, and that's what it is. But um, it's here to stay, and it's here to stay for a long time. Now, your prep, women, ladies, your preference is your preference. But screaming out, why is this man touching me? I hate men and... All that other shit, man, that's that's beyond that's beyond weird, man. That's like crazy as a motherfucker. You know, like your daddy ain't spit that nut in your mama to have you. You know, you hate your father? I mean, probably so. You know, a lot of these females do really hate their father. Especially if they shouts out to uh, Mr. Palmer, especially if they was raised by the BMT baby mama terrorists and shit. So it's it's definitely possible. Um But the way she disrespect and Embarrass that man and embarrass herself and really embarrass Walmart, you know, with that kind of behavior only to show you fellas that a lot of these women, not all, but a lot of these women are really feeling this kind of way about men. And why do they feel this kind of way about men? You know, some of them are holding grudges from the 60s and, you know, 70s and shit when they had to stay home and watch the kids and the man was running, the, you know, running around working, working his pipe and every woman around, you know. Not only that she was caring for the kids, you know, Miss Susie and Mary Lou was caring for the other children, you know, for his other children too, probably a couple blocks away around the corner up the street. So a lot of women are feeling like, okay, we in somewhat position of power so we can take advantage of that fuck you guys fuck you men so it could be that you know we don't we don't um promote domestic violence or harmful things on my channel but a lot of these women got tired of getting that ass kicked too you know and not being in position of power so they you know they rather you know rest in peace to kevin samuels they rather strap on that dick you know and try to have a dick bigger than yours so that's there too. There's a lot of things there that got these women want to be a man, want to put themselves in a man's position, disrespected. But you know what I mean, guys? I know what a holler off man and put their hands on that woman in their store, man, and wouldn't give a fuck. You know, you sitting up there screaming, making a mockery of me, the place, and just disrespecting, you know, just coming off like this. You know, goddamn well, 15, 20 years ago, this shit wouldn't even took place. Since we in a society to where everything's on camera, everything's filmed, you know, um, they got their rights, you know, to, to say what they want to say and do what they want to do when we know that they, um, when it all boils down, they still look for a man to leave them. <laughs> but you hate men, though. You know, you only hate men when the shit ain't going right for you, but you love a motherfucker when you run across a motherfucker that you really like. But this is the world we're dealing with, fellas, you know. We're dealing with women being diabolical, not knowing which way to go in life. And, and, and this is the cause and effect behind it. And this ain't new. And it's not going to be old because you're going to see a whole lot of this shit out here today's time, you know. And the reason why I threw up to position of, you know, being in position of power and things of that sort. Because I've seen women move men out the way and bring other women in front of the line in front of these men oh the men like that i've been waiting here for too long you know i seen that like a couple weeks ago and it was um what was i at man it was at the dmv it was two men sitting there they took the number or whatever and they it was their turn to actually go up there to be served um, when it comes to their, you don't know, their license, renewing it, whatever they was doing. Like three females came in. And mind you this, this place was packed. 
three females came in. Why did they go over there and talk to one of the the senior older women? You know, the African American chick. They went over there and talked to her. Black bitch. You know, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100. Yeah, they was all black holes, you know, I'm gonna keep it real. And yeah, I can say this shit. Yes, I can say this. Why? Because I'm African American. I'm black. I'm more inclined than a lot of you motherfuckers when it comes to our racial history and uh, history and my ethnicity and heritage on my hue. <laughs> yeah, we can break all that shit down so I can speak like this. So she's seen a chance to disrespect these men and push them out the way and move them black women, move the sisters in front of them. The dude's like, hold up, man, what's my number? I've been sitting here, what are you talking about? Well, they was here a little bit earlier and they went out to do something and they had to come back, so I saved their line. If I don't motherfucking such thing as saving your line when it comes to business like this, first one, first, you know, first one come, first one serve, and plus you get a number. So if that number wasn't called out, which their numbers wasn't called out, these guys' numbers was called out, and she blatantly pushed them out the way, and no, 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 they gonna be feminist shit, liberal shit, you know, shit that, you know, that they're in position that, you know, it's like, motherfucker, I'm in, I'm in position of power, all I gotta do is tell you, you got to leave or raise some kind of static with the security, he's gonna make you leave, now you've been here for two, three hours, you gotta come back tomorrow for another two, three hours, possibly longer to, to renew your shit when you already been here, yeah, I'm gonna inconvenience you and step on your fucking toes like that that's the shit I'm talking about, fellas. And this is the world we're dealing with. And motherfucker, like, damn, man, he coming at the sisters. Yeah, I'm coming at the sisters. And you see that this, in the video, that ain't no sister. That's a white woman. I don't give a fuck. She's Asian, Hispanic, Hindu. I don't give a fuck about her race. They're all, once they're feminized, that's what the fuck is going to be. And it's going to be like this, fellas. They're going to buck their chest out. It's giving them something new, something they can control and something that they can actually have over you to where they shit you can do, you know? But take their orders, or possibly get canceled, get sent to jail, get a case thrown on you, get some lied up, made up on you, a lot of things can go in place. You know, it ain't no different for giving black bitches social media. Yeah, and I said it. You give a black bitch social media, man, she don't know what the fuck to do with it. She, her motherfucking head blows up. She don't know who she. You, she's not even. She ain't. She's not approachable now. You give her social media. You come up to her, damn little mama. Boy, you looking good. You know what I mean? The fuck? Boy, you wearing the shit out them jeans? She look at you. Ugh. Who the fuck is you? And walk away. Because she got so many simp's glorifying the the shit she drop out of her asshole. You feel me? Real talk. Online or social media DMs and all that shit. <laughs> you know, other races of women are more. They more um. It's not like you know they never had nothing. They more um immune and used to having something, so they don't they don't take it to heart and all that. You she put you know uh, Hispanic white bitch out. You know they they to put their phones down. They was on social media. They put that motherfucker down. And open them ears up when KC was coming through hollering at them. You dig? Black bitches. <laughs> Some. But not all, man. And y'all already know. I'm just going to keep it real. All are not like that. The majority of them going to turn their nose up at your ass. Why? It's because they caught up in their social media world. You know, they getting their validation in there. They being appeased there. So that makes more sense to them than what's physically physical in their face. Why is because what's physically physical in their face can pump and dump, you know? He can have his way, have his cake and eat it too. He can do what the fuck he want to. She can control them little minions on social media and in their DMs and shit. You know, it's no different from giving African American women social media and I said it. I don't give a fuck. And I can say it because it's true. Look with look at these look at them. I mean, you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. But fellas, this is the world we're contracting now. Feminist, liberal world. So be prepared to deal with this kind of behavior. Like these videos, share them, and subscribe. And y'all already know, it's the motherfucking message. Holla. Yeah.